Welcome back to the Bayou Gorilla Garden. All right, you want to hand me that one? Thank you. So last week, we dug these four holes for these four blackberries. Um, I want to comment a little on on the soil biology. So when I was digging all four holes, one we went over that uh, it's pretty clay, sandy and then clay, and there's not much biology or life in here. And that's evidenced by the fact that I have not seen a single earthworm in any of these holes that I dug. Whereas my last property that I had, that I owned, not like this one, <laughs> um, had you get a shovel full of dirt and you're going to have half a dozen, a dozen earthworms in it. So that's what you really want to shoot for. So to try and fix that for these blackberries, um, we've been composting. Uh, someone threw a whole plastic bag in here, though. So that I'll have to change. But basically all food scraps, and I'm going to pour a little bit in each of these holes, and then the rest back onto my compost pile. And then I got some garden soil that I've got over here that I'll use to help fill in the holes because the dirt really has nothing. I don't want too much. Nacho, are you tossing stuff around? Yeah, yeah you. All right. This will just go right on top. I'll put more more leaves on and I'm after I get my gloves back I guess so now I'm gonna put a little of the garden soil on top you're okay Nacho Now, I want the thorned one probably furthest from anything. I'll take this thorned one, bring it over here. Be careful that I don't get totally thorned by it. I got a lot of roots stuck. Well, the big roots went down, out, and back up. Oh well. All right. I need to go get my bag of dirt again. Pull up one of the wild ones. Now we'll bring it's this poor soil. I guess it's dirt. It's not soil. It's not living. Just finish backfilling. Hey, okay. Nacious. And we'll water them in real good after this, too. All right. Get the next one. 
Let's see, what do I have? Apache, Onachu, Onachu. So let's do the Apache here and the two Onachus up there. See if I can remember any of that. So this one doesn't have nearly the root structure that the other one had. And it's okay if you bury the, the stem just a little. Blackberries and most uh, bramble berries like this will do great at growing roots. Anytime any part of their actual branches are submerged under the soil. Ignatius, you want to get all these together for Daddy? Stack them? Okay. He's going to be the star. Oh, there's two others. Get the two others. Mm-hmm. Put the dirt back. No. There we go. We've got blackberries. Hey, Nacho, you're stepping. Look, you're walking on it. Cuidado. Mama said you're supposed to be quiet. There. There. Pick up after ourselves. Well, that's a rock or clay that has become a brick. But there you have it. There's our four blackberries. As far as what's growing now, we've got, if you follow me down here, 
We've got some cilantro that actually came up this time. I need to pull these. These are brambles that are still coming up everywhere. We've got, I forget which type of um, brassica here. We've got a lot of a lot of brassica there, and we have radishes, but they don't seem to be balling up. The root doesn't seem to be balling up, so I don't know. I don't know if they're actually going to ball up. And we've got kale here. I think it's still a little warm for the kale, but it's growing. And then our bok choy, which is doing a little better. And then the cucumbers. Cucumbers are doing well again, although I think they need a little water based on how flimsy the leaves are. But it keeps going. Hoping they'll be flowering soon. It looks like we've got some flowers coming in at the joints. I'm trying to trip over my own trellis. And then the beans are, are flowering. Pretty little yellow flowers. And we'll probably have beans in two weeks. And the last thing is the potatoes that I still don't know if we'll get a crop, but they're coming up pretty nice now. Just russet potatoes straight from the straight from the grocery store. And that is the progress of the garden. What I think I'm gonna put the onions over with the potatoes. Are you going to help? Here, right here. Dig right there. Yep. No, no. Dump it right here. Don't dump it too far away. There you go. There you go. Here. There you go. Don't dump it too far away. Right there. Yep. Yep. There we go. Okay, can we cover it back up? You good? Are you ready? Can I get it? <laughs> no. So. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> we've got the start of an onion that was used for <laughs> cooking. We already put one in right here. Let's back up and put one right here. Can you dig that up for Daddy? We're just sticking them right in with our potatoes, even though I have no clue where all the potatoes actually are. Since we just a dug cutter? a big hole. Here. Gotcha. Sophie, let, let your sister come in and, and dig some right here, too. Okay? And then garlic, FYI, or for your information, does not actually uh, sprout. You just take a whole clove and stick wow. it in the ground. I lifted up your plant. It's okay. I don't know if that's my plant. There we go. That's good. No, it's, I, it's your one. Yeah, I know. But I don't know if I planted that is what I'm saying. This I, one we're planted. I used several to plant black in it. Yes, there we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Stop it. There we go. Yeah. All done. You ladies want to say this has been the Bayou Gorilla Gardener? Okay. <laughs> this has been the Bayou Gorilla Gardener. Yeah. It's October 8th. There you have it. Thank you for watching the Bayou Gorilla Gardener. Please like, share, and subscribe.